Hello, everybody! It's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. In the last episode, the episode that was like three weeks ago, I did the second half of the Star Road secret levels, and they were really difficult, but I beat them. And I'm gonna be really loud in this episode because I'm home all alone, and I've been, I feel kind of bad that it's taking me so long to upload this video, so I figured I'd be doing it obnoxiously. So, for the bad of the Bowser's Castle, Bowser's city play city skyscraper there's two different ways i can go i can go the front door i can go the back door i'm gonna do the front door first i will show the back door um i i think so the cool thing about this level is we have a couple options one two three four four doors we can go through so guys for this video what i'm going to do for all of you i'm gonna show you hopefully successfully every single door you can go through starting with number one now when you get through finish with the level um, obviously you get to um, when you finish oh god that's not a good start when you finish you have to fight Bowser spoiler not wait you have to fight the boss I should have, I should have said that I should probably oh my god I might not even make it <laughs> but you have to fight the boss and uh, no okay I didn't realize that the, the moving stopped. Uh, so I'm gonna cut. It. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's more levels after that. Five, six, seven, and eight. So we're gonna go through all of these as well. This video is gonna be kind of long for that reason. Um, if you don't like that, I'll probably put somewhere where you can skip to watch the boss fight. So yeah. So here's five. Oh god. Okay. So you need to avoid the thwomps and the giant death pillars both of which won't be easy to dodge <laughs> okay how the hell am I supposed to do that that's what I want to know okay do so much different stuff oh, man I thought I had more standing room than I actually had oh no <laughs> god dang it those 25 lives aren't gonna be enough Oh my god, a death counter for once, since I haven't used it in forever. Well, I, yeah, since I haven't used it since the first episode. So yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll probably use a... Door number one! <laughs> death counter. Death, death counter! <laughs> they should... Are there, are there, is there a German character in uh, Street, street Fighter? Oh no! What? I don't even know how... I survived that, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, uh. God dang it. It's the fact that sometimes it's really hard to A, I mean, get. A, I'm never alone, so it's really hard to, you know, record videos like this. That is so glitched. I'm so writing a letter to Nintendo telling them that their supposed masterpiece has glitches in it. Okay, that was door number one. I, I don't even want to mess with door number five. You guys already know what that was, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay, this one's easy. This is an underwater one. Uh, underwater slash normal. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. It's pretty easy, other than the fact that you have these guys throwing skeletons at you. Throwing bones at you. They're not throwing skeletons. They are skeletons. They're dry bones. And we finally get an upgrade, which is nice. But yeah, I'm not going to do door number five because it's really hard. And, oh, god dang it. And I don't want to die. And I don't want to have to do all this all over again. The good thing is, though, you can smash the dry bones, even when you're under... How can they be dry bones if they're underwater? They're not technically dry bones if they're underwater, then are they? God dang it. Someone needs to write a letter to Nintendo. God, that thing, ball, no. Alright, well, I'm gonna skip door number one since I already showed it, so I guess this is how I'm gonna do it instead. I'm gonna do door number two this time. So I guess every time I die, I'll just go to a different door. Door number two, if I remember correctly, is actually pretty easy. Um, as long as you can dodge stuff, which is pretty simple. I mean, I think that's it, actually. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so that's door number five. That's door number six. We already did that. And this is door number seven. Did you hear me? It's door number seven. Oh god, I hate this one. Okay, this one's kind of a pain because, oh, and yeah, that, see, it's literally a pain because you can't step on those guys. 
I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll actually do that one since I totally just failed. Um, but yeah, I kind of just want to show you guys what all the doors do. Originally, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to show them everything. But you know what? I'm not going to do that because it's just going to take forever. Uh, I already did door number three, so let's go ahead and do door number four. All right. We're gonna, oh, God, I don't like this one either. I, okay, door number three is easily the easiest. You know, obviously the easiest one. That's what I wanted to say. Someone told me I could spin jump them, and I can. Thank you for whoever told me. I can't remember right now because it was like forever ago. But I asked a question in the last time I had to deal with these guys. And I, oh, that was easy. Uh, and you can jump over them, which is what I was wondering when I asked. When I asked that question. Uh, we're going to do number seven again because I totally effed it up. And I would like to actually show it off. But yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. What? So wait, where is he if that block isn't there? And how is that helpful to me? So yeah, these guys are kind of a pain. Uh, they're not that bad, though, because they can't actually shoot fire at you. Let him jump over you, and you can just jump right over him. Yay! Okay, so now this is the other part. Okay, this level's kind of cool, actually. Or this part of the level's kind of cool. Because we have a disco ball! Party and party and yeah! Party and party and yeah! Okay, I'm sorry. This guy, oh, uh, well, he was. I don't know if you, God dang it, if you recognize that enemy, it's because he's from Super Mario 2, which I find really interesting because Super Mario 2 is, as many of you know, actually Doki Doki Panic. Um, so I'm kind of confused as to how they got the rights to use that character. Um, but whatever. Actually, you know what? I can show you this now. Um, I can't exit the level, though. Um... Alright, so using the back door, actually, you know what, no, I'm not going to use the back door yet, because I need to, um, show you guys door number eight, still. So yeah, I totally died on purpose all those times, because I wanted to show, oh no! I need to show you door number eight. Alright, I'll be right back, uh, I'm going to go to door number eight. Okay, apparently I forgot to show you guys this one. Uh, this is door number, th how did I, I thought I showed you guys door number three. Guess not. Um, I think this is supposed to be a reference to Hotel Mario. I've heard that before from other people, but I've ne I've never really actually heard anyone agree with that. Or not, I mean, I mean, not directly agree with me is what I mean. And, uh, it's basically just a maze. We have to dodge these Bowser wind-up toys! I'm sorry. I'm yelling so much. And actually, it's really good to do number three because, well, those enemies become important. So yeah, it's door number three. I'm sorry I forgot to show it to you, and I, you probably were yelling at your computer screens. But I couldn't hear you because I was busy. Okay, so let's go ahead and do number door number number seven. Ah! Ah! Oh, give me that wing! Give me them wing! No! All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try and no, oh my God! I don't know why I jumped. I knew exactly what he was gonna do. Oh, nice, nice jump. Very, very classy. Get away from me! Ah! Okay. Oh no! Aw, oh, nuts. Alright, so obviously if you can um if you can avoid being hit by them, that's really helpful. Because <laughs> you can keep that thing. What is that thing called? Oh my god, I made this why am I trying to jumping for the first one where I could just jump right over the whole thing? Okay, anyway, uh now I can show you this at least. If you go to the back door, this is pretty sweet. If you go to the back door, it's actually ready for this? Ready? It starts you off right here! I know, right? So you definitely want to try and unlock the back door, that way you don't have to deal with, with all the levels, and that way when you die like a moron, you have to go all the way back to the first door, then do the next set of doors, and yeah. So I definitely recommend trying to get the back door, um, it was just a secret passage, like one of the secret exits. So definitely try and make sure you do that, because it will make your life so much easier if you're not very good at this game. So I'm just going to jump over this whole thing, because I can't do it any other way. Oh, I want to kill them both. Yeah, I don't remember what the ninja guy's names are. What? He punched me with his nose. But yeah, I don't remember what the little ninja guy's names are, but I wish I could. Because they're actually really cool sprites. Um, I especially like how they updated them, how they look in the updated version. Because I, well, actually, what I really like is how they look differently than they do in um, Super Mario All-Stars. Couldn't think of what the game was called. But yeah, they look different than they do in Super Mario All-Stars, which is cool, because they could have easily just co Well, actually, I don't know if they could have easily done it, but could have copied and pasted it, I think. I don't really know how that stuff works, but... Ah-ha! 
Not only are you dead, but you're boiling in lava. All right, guys. Here we are. Wait. What the heck? You know, that doesn't make any sense. Why are we still light when we're not... In, you know, never mind. It doesn't matter. It's Nintendo logic. Boss fight time! Here we have the final boss of the game. A giant smiley face! Oh, my God! Oh, no! Oh, never mind. There's Bowser. Okay, so we need to fight Bowser now. Bowser's actually not that difficult. I've practiced this once before, and it was actually pretty easy. Um, so this shouldn't be an issue. Of course, now that I'm recording, I like to not do as well as I play when I'm just playing for fun. Uh, but that's what you gotta do, basically. You gotta hit these guys. Remember I said they'd be important? Remember I said that? Remember, remember, remember? Because I was telling the truth. So you need to try and hit him. It's best to try and hit him with both. It makes this fight way easier. And then he does this! Move! Where it doesn't actually hurt you at all, which I think is kind of weird. And then he starts to drop fireballs on you. Um, you kind of just need to stay in the middle. And then he starts dropping more. And yeah, he makes you kind of inner Oh! Peach, no! Oh, wait. Thank you. Yeah, so she'll give you... She'll give you, uh, what are, what are those things called? Mushroom. <laughs> How is that thing blinking? This makes no sense. It can't be like a sleigh, but... Oh, God, giant ball! Uh, you can't spin jump on the ball. I've tried it. It doesn't work. And then... Oh, God, he dropped another one. You... Oh, I guess two balls. That makes sense. That's really heavy, dude. I don't know how he's carrying all this stuff around in that little... Little smiley face machine. I don't know what to call it. I know it has a name. Oh, dang it. But yeah, if you hit the bottom of it, it just disappears. There we go. So he'll just fly back and forth and wait till you hit him. So yeah, this fight's not that hard. Um, it is a fun fight. I mean, I think it's really good. And I like the design of it. I like the lightning in the background. The music's really awesome, as always. Um, it's just not that hard, especially because Peach gives you a mushroom in between every cycle. So if you do somehow get hit by something, uh, you pretty much have a guaranteed power-up. There's one other move that he does, and I don't know why he hasn't done it yet. Um, and I'll tell you what it is. If he doesn't... Oh, man. Oh, no. Pick it up. Grab it. Oh, God. Get him! Hit him! Is he dead? Did I kill him? No, I didn't. Oh, crap. All right, so we got to make sure we don't die here with all these fire ball fireballs. But, yeah. We got to make sure we don't die here because, well, I really don't want to have to start this whole thing over again. Oh, God. He made the meat do the same thing! Damn it. He, made me he tricked me the exact same way he did it before. Ah. Oh, wait, but that's okay because... We get a, what are those things called? Checkpoint. <laughs> but I have no mushroom. I'm going to die. Okay. No, you know, I'll be fine. I don't know why I'm so bad at dodging the, the, the fireballs. I guess I'm just getting nervous because I know how close I am to beating them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess that's what I get for saying this fight's easy. But it's not, like, overwhelmingly hard. Like, games, you know, there's some games out there that'll really, really, really try and just completely massacre you at the end of their game. I don't really like that. I've never really liked that. You know, you play this game for, you know, 30 plus hours or however long you play, however long it takes you to play games. And, um, you finally get to the end of it, and then it's just like, okay, I'm ready for the boss fight. Oh, man. I didn't get him twice. Ready for the boss fight, and then they just destroy you, and you end up wasting another three hours of your life. That's something RPGs do a lot, is they make this ridiculously challenging boss fight, and then they just, you know, kind of make you hate the game. Then again, that's kind of how all fights are in Final Fantasy games, so it's not as annoying. He's throwing a lot of these guys at me. Oh, crap. This guy's going to be a problem that I have in my hand. Yeah, shit. Because now he's going to be walking around. Oh, God, I thought there was space there. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. Well, there is. It's an invisible wall. I, I don't know. should have known better. I love going in through the back door. <laughs> that's dirty. All right, let's try this again. For the love of God! And yeah, he was throwing so many at me. Like I, I'm so, I don't know why. I don't think there's any specific order you can do it in, like do attacks in to make him do that. I don't know. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys were waiting for me to post this for a while, and I apologize for how long it took. But you know, it's just kind of how it goes. You know, I wanted to make sure I posted this on a good day, and wanted to make sure I could do a really good recording. Oh God, dang you! No! The best way to hit him, by the way, is when he comes, like, onto the other side, like, from his back and forth movement thing. If he's coming from one side to the other, uh, then you're more likely to be able to land a train! Shut up! Not the band, of course, the, the train, like, the thing. 
So, okay, that was much easier to dodge than... <gasps> Pete! Look how crazy her animation looks. She's like... Ah! 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 They don't even they should put a sound to it. It would sound really funny. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, God! Why, I don't know why I just did that. I wish you could spin jump those giant bowling balls. But you can't. But you can't, I don't think. I don't want to try it. I'm almost positive you can't, though. Also, if you get hit by the propeller, you get hurt. You can, like, go off the side of the ship, but if you actually, like, go underneath it, it hurts you. It hurts you. Hit him! Hit him! Not, not you, Bowser! I didn't want you to hit him! No! Worth it. I regret nothing! Yeah, that was actually a huge mistake. Ugh. Alright, just drop two more, please. Koopalings. I don't know what they're called. Wind up Cooper. I don't care what they're called. Thank you. I'm gonna kill you. No, I'm gonna just throw that thing off the map again. It's not really a map. Oh, come on! Ready for this? Skis! I suck. Why can't I beat Bowser? I just can't do it. I also can't do John Travolta impression. Oh god, this fight sucks. It sucks. I'm pretty sure it doesn't store an item for you either in this fight. Like, if you have one, if you have two items, I think it only lets you use one of them. The one you currently have. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I just love how that spin jump looks. You know what, I actually, and I, you know, at the beginning of this Let's Play, I mentioned um, how this was the first game that used the spin jump, and I was pleasantly surprised if, wait, no, actually, hold on, I don't want to say, no, never mind, I was going to say that Super Mario Land 2 uses the spin jump also, which I never knew, or I guess I probably knew that back in the day, but I didn't know that recently, like, shoot, okay, why did I do, I, for some reason, I, look at that look that the smiley face has given me, he's like, heh, you dumb piece of shit. I don't know why, I thought I could just run right through that thing, but, I, but obviously I couldn't because, well, that just doesn't make any sense. This fight sucks. No, it's wrong to blame the fight. I suck. I suck at this game, man. Come on, Bowser. Come on, Bowser. Bowser, Bowser, Bowser. I'm a stupid Bowser. That's right, I'm talking about you. What you gonna do about it? Oh! Oh, man, I didn't even know you could hit him like that. I hit him, like, right in the face. Like, under his face. Like, a... Okay, we need to pick one side. Ah! Pick one side and stick to it, because then he just drops it. Oh, God. He's being a dick about it. No, not this again! Oh, man! I have a... Oh, oh man! Beach, no! Got it. Haha, <laughs> Bowser. Uh, wait, what's she doing down there? You know what? I don't. E I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't even want to know. That's dirty. Okay, well the movie's not doing for some reason, and maybe it's because he. Well, you know, I don't want to say it because maybe he just doesn't do it till right before he's almost dead. Like till you, like right before your last hit. Yeah, you need to do. Th I think you need six hits together. So like three sessions of him dropping little thingies on you. So. So we two. Yeah! God, I love- Oh no, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm not gonna win. No! We drop another one! Oh shit. That's not what I meant! Will you drop another Koopa? Dude! Stop! Being a jerk. Hey man. Just drop the little wind-up toys. Just do it! Thank you. Him. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man! I just want to make sure that thing doesn't kill me. Oh, good fire. Fire! Oh, come on! Come on, man! God freaking dang it! Ugh, this fight is gonna kill me. I, I don't even know what I mean, but... 
I, I don't know why I tried. I don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure I would have only had to hit him one more time, too, which really sucks. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I would run around and make airplane noises all the time. I was almost positive that I was an airplane. Sometimes I'm still not sure that I'm not. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Drop them fireball! Uh, fire starter! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I was gonna say, that was... The fireballs are actually pretty easy to avoid. I don't know why I had issues with them before. Thanks, honey! You're so sweet. I'm gonna miss this game. Maybe that's why I'm sucking so bad at the boss fight, because I don't want to be done. But there's really nothing else for me to do in this game. I've done pretty much everything. I did the secret levels. I did all the secret levels. And I did all the secret levels. And I beat the normal game. So I don't really know what else to do. I guess I could speed run the whole game, but that wouldn't that'd be kind of boring. You wouldn't be into that at all. Oh, dude! This is where I had issues last time. Oh, come on! I mean, I'm not saying that was the game's fault. That was totally my fault, but god dang it, me! Where'd you learn to throw? Girl school? <laughs> that was dumb. And sexist. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Why aren't you dead yet? Come on, Bowser! Stop living! It's making everyone angry. Especially me. Am I safe? Over here? How did I do that? That was the easiest fireball ever. <gasps> Give me another one, Peach! Woo! Oh, I do have... Okay, cool. You do... Oh, God! This is the other move I was talking about, and I just got hit. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the move I've been talking about that he hasn't done yet, and it's kind of annoying, but it's also really easy to avoid, so I don't know how I got hit by that, but look how pissed off his, his Bowser copter is. But yeah, he starts bouncing, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. He starts bouncing around, and you have to hit him with them. Oh, fudge. So I guess, we drop some more, please? Please pass the robots, thank you. It's actually kind of easier to hit him with, I killed him! You're here! Oh, hi there. Hey. You look much better when you're not vibrating up in... Never mind. Oh! Mario's adventure is over! Mario, the princess, Yoshi, and his friends are going to take a vacation. Hallelujah! Woo! Fireworks! Oh my god. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, but seriously, I enjoyed that. Alright, I, as much as I like fireworks in Nintendo, can we just end the game? Like, seriously. If I want fireworks, I'll YouTube fireworks. Alright guys, so that's the end of the game! Yeah! Takashi Tezuka was the main director. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I don't really know how to pronounce any of these names. Katsuya Eguchi! Toshihiko Nagag. Okay, I'm not even gonna be... I apologize. Anyway, Toshio Iwakaki! I I'm done. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Okay guys, but thoughts on the Let's Play, I might as well do. Um. I've actually never beaten uh, Super Mario World, like, all 100% done, so I'm really happy that I was able to. Um, I enjoyed this Let's Play a lot, mainly because it's just really fun to play Super Nintendo games, and they're so short, but they're still so much fun. I feel bad, like, my biggest regret of this Let's Play is not sticking to the death counter thing, and just not, and in general, not putting more production work into this Let's Play. It's just, you know, it was a really bad time to have a Let's Play that, you know, I could... It was a really bad idea for me to do production stuff in a Let's Play because, like, editing and all that. It was a really bad idea <laughs> because of the fact that I'm in, you know, the last, it was the last couple months of my, of the year. Um, and I've just been super busy at school, so I didn't... Shigeru Miyamoto! I love Shigeru Miyamoto. 
Um, <laughs> it was super late, and, and I just, I knew I was going to have a lot of stuff to do in the class, and I didn't want to put so much effort into my Let's Play, which I guess is kind of a bad thing to say, but it's the truth. So, uh, but in general, thoughts on Let's Play, I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I was surprised at how many people enjoyed it. I was also surprised that there was anyone who didn't already know what this game was. Um, look at that nice little scene right there. Pretty sure they all hatch if you do 100%. I think that's what it is. But yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, coming up soon, yeah, now we get to learn all the names of everything, which I like. I mean, I love knowing all the names of a lot of them. And a lot of the names I know are mainly because of uh, Super Mario RPG or Paper Mario, because that's when you actually learn the names. I never saw a jumping pumpkin plant. Where the hell was that thing? Um... But yeah, it was enjoyable, and Pidget Bill! Yeah, see, some of these things you've never seen, I think it's because some of them are rare. Like, it's a random el like a random chance thing, like, between the, the Pidget Bill and the, uh, the pumpkin jumping thing. I don't know. Like, I guess it's just random. But yeah, I enjoyed it, and uh, coming up next, I'll either be finishing Rayman Origins or finishing Mass Koopas. Or I'll be finishing, uh, 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 what's that game called? Paper Mario. Um, I'm gonna try and just finish, I'm gonna just keep doing Earthbound, but yeah. Coming up soon, I'll be working on some more stuff. Elo Milo is still going on with Lauren. Um, The Walking Dead, uh, I'm waiting for the next episode of it to come out. Uh, it comes out once a month, so it'll be a while to that Let's Play, the full Let's Play is done. Episode 1 is done, though. But yeah, uh, this was really enjoyable. I'll definitely be doing more Super Nintendo games in the future, uh, for sure. Um, I mean, obviously I'm doing, already doing Earthbound, but I do plan on doing uh, Mega Man X at some point. You know, when I first decided I wanted to do this, I asked everyone uh, if they wanted to see Mega Man X or if they wanted to see Super Mario World. Uh, it was pretty close, but everyone, more people wanted to see Super Mario World, and I just felt better about Super Mario World, because I'm not a huge seasoned Mega Man player, so I kind of wanted to take some time to practice it before I Let's Played it. Resner! Fuck, I hated Resner so much. Such an annoying... I wish they would have had more bot, like, mini-bosses, you know? It would have been cool if they had Resner and a couple other things. Mecha Koopas. Of course. Such a simple name. But yeah, guys, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, if you want to, go ahead and click the playlist. So, oh, that's a pretty cool shot. Um, click the playlist so that you can check out uh, the rest of the videos if you missed any. But yeah, that's the end. And obviously, you can play as Luigi in two-player mode. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you have any. Do whatever you gotta do to share love. See you guys next time. Bye.